Hi, my name is Alison, Alison McGowan, and I'm the CEO of Hidden Falls Out of Brazil, which is uh, my own baby. I set it up about three years ago uh, when I was feeling extremely stressed out, and I happened to come across uh, a posada, uh, basically a place to stay in Boitever, in uh, Bahia. And I got to this posada, and after about half an hour, I just felt all the stress was just melting away. And I realised that I was in paradise. And I thought, you know, if this paradise exists, then there must be other paradises that exist in, in Brazil. And by the way, I know quite a lot of people that would like to be in paradise with me. So a business was born. So what is a posada? Uh, posada is very simple. A posada, just, posada in Portuguese uh, just means a place to stay. It actually means a place to land, but it means a place to stay as well. And a posada uh, includes things like uh, boutique hotels, and guest houses, and inns, and bed and breakfast. But what do posada businesses generally do to, to market themselves? Right at the moment, it's quite difficult, because the thing about posadas is that they're all, um, they're all small. The, the majority of posadas have between 4 and 15 rooms. There are very few posadas that have any more than 15 rooms. And the other thing is that they're all independently owned. There's no association of posadas here. So basically, they're all doing their own thing. And they're doing their own thing uh, you know, with very little money because they, they actually the profit margins in posadas are very, very small. And so they don't have enough money to, to go and do any kind of big marketing campaign. And most of them, the other thing is that because they're individually owned, they're individually owned by people who, um, who don't come from a business background. They, they usually set up posadas as a lifestyle choice and therefore they don't really know how to go about marketing their, their own place. We've now got a completely innovative marketing system which we're using, which nobody has anywhere. I mean, this, this is just completely strange. And, and what's it called? It's got an interesting name, hasn't it? It's got the, it, yes, it's got an interesting name, but only because when I was writing it down, it actually came out of those letters. Uh, it's called Poder. Uh, and Poder in Portuguese means power. And what we're trying to do with this, uh, with this system is to harness the power of the internet and put it together with the power of um, uh, what they call here boca boca, which is word of mouth. And word of mouth, not, not just the social networking sort of word of mouth, but also the word of mouth um, that, that we have when we're talking like this together. What, what poder is, if we take each letter, uh, it's not exactly the same in English as it would be in Portuguese, and this was originally done in Portuguese. But the, but the first thing, the P, is for the preparation of a, of a page. Each posada gets a page on the site, which, whichever site of ours they come onto, they get a whole page. Uh, which gives information about what the posada is like and uh, you know, all the essential things you need to, to know in order to be able to book it. Uh, but it also gives the website of the, of the, of the posada, it gives the email, it gives the phone number, so, uh, and it gives a direct booking link so that people can actually book the way that they want to book, the way which feels more natural to them. Um, the O is something which we have only been do doing over the last six months, and it's something which is going to be increasingly important in the future. The O is for optimization for Google. Uh, so we have things which we've got linked into our um, administrative part of the site where we can actually make sure that each individual page, each individual posada page, not just the home page, are optimized so, that, so we get the posadas to the top of Google. The D um, is for uh, the development and promotion of the site itself which is obviously extremely important. You know, there's no point in just being on the site if the site itself is not promoted. The E in Portuguese is for estimulação de vendas diretas, which, which actually means getting direct bookings for the posadas, so they don't have to pay any commission to direct booking engines or, or anything like that. They, can, they actually get the people coming directly to them. And the R is for rapid response. And this is something which is incre increasingly important. You can't just let things go. We have to give a rapid response to anybody that asks us for advice on where to go in Brazil. Um, but we need to also give a rapid response to any posada that wants to um, change anything on the site, if they want the picture changed, if their details have changed, anything like that. Then, of course, there's something else. Because we have the system for there, but we also have a system for their mice. And for their mice, it's just that one step more. It's a turbocharged version of, of for there. And in, in this version, this includes all the social media that we do, this includes talking to journalists, this includes 
um, the, the blog that we do on a regular basis, the newsletter. Um, it includes all the articles that we put in, into newspapers and talk about. And basically, it's, it's a huge amount more, more work that we do for individual consultants. The posadas that, that exist in Brazil uh, are generally very good. Uh, the ones we have on our hiddenposadasbrazil.com site, those are our special collections, so they, they are just fantastic. Um, but a lot of posadas have websites which, which don't actually do them justice. And one of the things would be, make sure if you have a website, do a good one. Uh, every posada actually does need its own website, but, it, but make sure that it's done professionally. Don't, don't just uh, do a botched job yourself. Um, another thing would be to make sure that you are contactable uh, and that you, manage, that you answer uh, emails really fast. And it's helpful if you're contactable on Skype. It's helpful if somebody there also speaks English. You know, if, you're, if you're looking at the foreign market, then you, you need to have somebody that can understand what the foreigner is saying if they phone up. And I think the last thing would be that if you're going to work with, uh, with a marketing organisation, choose a marketing organisation that, that, that is a similar size to you as a Pogada, because then you, you actually get to talk to the person who's doing the work. So that, that's really what we're trying to do with Hidden Pogadas Brazil, is to, is to work with, together with Pogadas, so that we all grow together. So finally, I just wanted to ask you, what you would say to um, anyone thinking of coming over to Brazil and wanting to, you know, find a great place to stay, what would your recommendations be? Um, that's a tough one, isn't it? <laughs> uh, actually, I get these, these, these questions all the time, and one of the things I get is the people that want to come over to Brazil, and they've got about 10 days, and they want to do Rio, Salvador, Jose Guasu, Amazon, Pantanal, and I don't know where else. Um, I, I think my first suggestion would be to, uh, to, to look, at, look at the information that exists on the internet, to look at our sites, to look at hiddenposadasbrazil.com, to look at posadahotelbrazil.com, see what's available in the areas that you're going to, uh, and narrow it down. Don't try to do too much on, on the first trip. And then um, get in touch with me. You know, I'm very happy to talk to anybody on the phone. I'll answer all the emails immediately. And uh, we'll make sure that you have the, the holiday of a lifetime when you come here.